I have filmed this video five times already and I'm losing my mind. I keep getting too angry, but I'm trying my hardest to stick to what I know as best, which is just reasoning with you guys and telling you the truth. The reason I'm getting so angry about this is because Park Run was something that was close to my heart for many, many years. And if you'll know, they actually made a decision recently to, I think, like get rid of the records. So like uh, remove them from the website. I know, I couldn't even believe this when I heard this, but if you're new to my channel, let me just introduce myself and I'll go over quickly some introduction and then I'll give my opinion. So, hey, I'm the runner. I went from a 30 minutes to a 16 minutes 5k. I used to come like a hundredth and then I started coming second and third at my local park run. I've raced many around the country from muddy ones to road ones to cross country ones, Paul, Bournemouth and so many more. One thing I wanted to add is I started running when I was 12 and I started park runs when I was 15. I absolutely love the event. I love how everyone takes part. I used to always get so much encouragement from the runners who I lapped and they seem very happy. Um, but apparently, according to the organizers, they're not happy. Uh, they actually don't want to compete because we are offending them and we're too fast, apparently. So the next thing to do, guys, is to talk about what's happened. So they have got rid of the records on their websites. And the reason they've given for this is to increase or encourage participation. So I'm guessing the reason for this is they're just trying to, you know, reinstate what they used to say. Parkrun is not a race. Parkrun is not a race. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. All right. We get it. But at the end of the day, we also know that in society, we have to maintain competition, we have to maintain the hierarchy, because otherwise, what's the point? If everyone's equal, there's no such thing as fast people, there's no such thing as rich people, there's no such thing as tall people, there's no such thing as attractive, there's no such thing as anything, if everyone's the exact same and is equal. By taking away the records, you are disrespecting the faster athletes who have achieved those times and spent years of their life, or their whole life, at training for them. For this very reason, I encourage them and invite them to reverse their decision. Why? Well, my first and most important point is that their decision doesn't make any sense. Why? Because when I used to lap people at Park Run, they would encourage me, they would cheer me on, and they would be happy. Secondly, put yourself in the shoes of the slower runners or someone just about to start Park Run. Would you feel scared, intimidated, or offended by runners doing 13 to 16 minute 5Ks or people winning the races? No, you wouldn't, because the event as a whole is based around slower runners who are doing it for health and fitness or weight loss reasons. Of course, it's not a diamond league, it's not the Olympics. Someone who is going to join for the first time isn't going to feel intimidated because they're not lining up against a row of Kenyans running 12 minutes for a 5k. There might be an odd 15, 16 or 17 minute 5k runner, however, generalizing, they are mostly slower runners who are out as hobby joggers, as we would say. So the decision for making this change was done on, well, it seems no evidence, just opinions that they wanted to get rid of records and basically, hmm, subsequently, disrespect faster athletes, in my opinion. This will not change Park Run at all in any other way than just making it slower standard in terms of the competitiveness. Now, one thing I wanted to also add that's really important is that if we all turn into pansies, not only does that disrespect our ancestors who fought for our freedoms with their lives, but it also creates a situation of deception. What do I mean here? Nowadays, they give medals out to everyone in sports day at school. They also try to say that everyone's equal. Well, as good as that sounds, it's not the truth. And if you deceive people thinking that we are all equal, then when reality hits, they'll get very depressed. There are tall people, there are short people, there are fit people and there are out of shape people. There are fast people and there are slow people. There are attractive people and there are less attractive people. There are rich people and there are poor people. It's the yin and yang, the differences. It's the checkerboard on the floor, the black and white. It's balance. This is how life works. It's survival of the fittest. It's a hierarchy. And if we teach society and the kids on sports day that we're all equal, then they're going to get a nasty shock when they realize that that's not the case. In a sense, it's deceptive to try and teach people that we are all the same and that there is no such thing as 
people who are just better at things, people who work harder. The reason I love running so much is it's one of those sports that doesn't matter how rich you are, it doesn't matter how tall you are, how attractive you are, really to a degree it doesn't matter about your genetics either because you can better yourself by putting so much work in. And why would you do that just to be told you can't run a record, it's not a race, you haven't won because it's not a race. Imagine telling that to someone who's lost, I don't know, a hundred pounds, they run a hundred miles a week and they've been doing it for 10 years to achieve a 17 minute 5k. The disrespect you would be, you would be committing against them is disgusting. You, you have basically gone and, uh, you know, you violated them, you've offended them um, versus what you think is you've offended the slower people by allowing them to run records. It doesn't make any sense. If people are pansies and live in a society where they deny reality, then when reality hits, they won't be able to cope. For example, if all kids are taught they're equal and they get gold stars for bad marks and they also get medals for not winning, then when they go into the wide world of competition, whether it be finances, sport or anything else, they're going to get hit with reality that there truly is people out there that are better than you. If you want to change that, you have to work on yourself, but with the mindset that we're all equal and that we might as well not try, it's just a waste of time. Not only is this a stupid decision, but it's not really based on anything. Overall, I think that it was just made by someone in the organization committee that decided that they wanted everyone to not even try. I mean, I can't understand how that encourages more participation. It doesn't. Faster runners are not somehow putting people off from joining because the majority of runners at Park Run are slower runners or what we would consider to be joggers slash walkers. So overall, I think this decision has done nothing but disrespect and just lower the standards of the Park Run times. I invite the organisers to reverse their decision, which was unfounded, unsubstantiated, illiterate and stupid. Right now I feel annoyed because obviously I trained very hard to try and get as close as I could to the Bournemouth record, which at the time was 15 something, 1540 or 1550. I was around a minute and a bit off of that and I thought that when I grew a bit older, into my 20s, I could achieve it. Obviously I stopped running and I gained a bit more muscle, so I don't do that anymore. But imagine if I had, and then a week later I get told, oh yeah, sorry mate, there's no records. Even though I just trained basically since I was 12 to achieve it. It doesn't make much sense. It does disrespect the faster athletes. It does reflect our pansy society where no one can really understand you know, what competitiveness is. And again, if you raise your kids or your family or your community in this kind of mindset, then of course they will be losers for life.